There are a hundred people in line to board a plane that seats all of them. The first person in line is drunk and decides to take a random seat. Every person that boards the plane after them will either take the seat on their ticket or, if that seat is taken, a random one instead. What is the probability that the last person that boards will end up in their assigned seat? This is a classic problem for which you would have two minutes to solve. Sometimes, in an interview, you might not have the necessary time to start from a particular case, but this problem benefits a lot from this by getting the right intuition for the answer. If you've never seen this before, this step is crucial. So, let's reduce the number of passengers to just two, the drunk and the unfortunate one that shares the plane with them. The situation is simple. The first passenger has a 50-50 chance of sitting in his chair. Thus, the probability of the last passenger finding his seat free is 50%. If you abstract this probability to pi in the case of i seats, we just proved that p2 is 1 over 2. Let's now consider the case where the plane has three seats. Denoting our passengers in order a1, a2 and a3, we have three equally likely possibilities. A1 stumbles into his seat, leaving A2 and A3 free to board correctly. A1 takes A3's seat, thus A3 can sit in his assigned position. Or A1 takes A2's seat, so A2 will pick a random seat from the remaining two. If we look closer now and relabel A1's seat with A2's name, A2 is in the same position that the first passenger was in the situation with only two seats, leading us back to P2. Combining everything, we get that P3 is 1 over 2 as well. The obvious follow-up is to prove the statement Pn equals 1 over 2 for any n greater than or equal to 2 via complete induction. Start by assuming that P2, P3 and so on until Pk all equal 1 over 2. Looking at the k plus 1 seats case, we have the following equally likely cases. A1 sits in his seat, so everyone boards correctly with probability 1, including the last passenger. A1 sits in A2's seat, so A2 picks randomly, and by putting A2's name on A1's seat, we are in the case with k passengers, so the last one will sit in his assigned place with probability pk. A1 sits in A3's seat, sparing A2 of the inconvenience, but passing it to A3, who picks randomly, and, as before, leaving us in the case with K-1 passengers, so the last one will sit in his assigned place with probability PK-1. We go down the list of passengers, with the second to last being the case when A1 sits in AK's seat letting A2 and A3 all the way to AK-1 to board in their assigned places and forcing AK to pick randomly. This results in the final probability on this branch to be P2. And the last case is the one where A1 sits in the last passenger's place, making sure that AK plus 1 sits in his rightful position with probability 0. Averaging over all the equally likely cases, we get that pk plus 1 is 1 over 2 as well. Using the principle of mathematical induction, we can conclude that our sentence is true for any n, hence, the probability that the last passenger will fly in his own seat is 1 over 2. As expected, using induction is not the only solution to this problem. You can also use solely logic to get to the same result, if you find your interpretation that makes the most sense to you. The insight that helped me understand this problem is the following. Whenever someone finds their seat taken, they kick that person out, letting them choose a random seat. This actually has no effect on the outcome for the last passenger. Let's see how things play out in the original case and in this alternative way of handling a drunk passenger. If we consider that the seats below are ordered in the same way as the passengers boarding, we have the following outcomes. A1 sits in a random seat, and after him, A2, 
and A3 occupy their places. When A4 boards and finds that A1 is in his seat, he has three places to randomly choose from. A5, having his seat also occupied, has two seats to select from. And the last person in the queue will take the remaining seat, which, in this case, is his rightful one. Now, let's look at the same situation if the misplaced passenger is evicted from the seat. When A4 evicts A1, A1 will have to make the same choice that A4 made in the previous case. The same is true for when A5 boards the plane, hence there is no change in where A6 will sit between the two cases. In this rephrasing, the first passenger keeps getting moved around and having to choose a new random seat. By the time everyone else has boarded, they have been forced by elimination either into their correct seat or into the last passenger seat. At each step, the crucial two seats look the same to the first passengers, i.e. empty. So, we are certain that the first passenger will choose one with the same probability as the other. Hence, the last passenger will get in his seat with 50% chance. As always, here is a piece of code that helps you check that this is the correct result. Thank you to the Patreons that supported this video, and thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!